There have been no shortage of standout performers or performances from the youth across the world's best clubs this season. And here to guide us through our picks of those best prospects under the age of 21 is Stuart Robson. Stuart, as we take a look at just a number of these players mm. from the full list, uh, there's not many on there that you wouldn't want at your team, is there? Who, who's really impressed you? Uh, De Ligt at Ajax. Uh, good, very, very good centre-half. I think he's got all the attributes you need to be a top-class centre-half. That's why Barcelona are now looking at him. Uh, and his teammate De Jong. Uh, they've had a great competition in the Champions League. They've done well in Eredivisie. They're players that have come from nowhere to a certain degree because Ajax were struggling a, a couple of years ago. The Dutch national side wasn't doing particularly well. And these players have come to the fore. And you have to admire De Ligt's character as well. He played or made his debut at 17 for the Dutch national side away at Bulgaria. They conceded two goals early on. Both of them were his fault. He was taken off at half-time, but he's come back an even better player. And he showed that he's a good leader being the captain of Ajax as well. There's some good young English players there. Hudson Odoi, the problem with him, he's got a bad injury for Chelsea. So he's got to make sure he gets himself fully fit or the club get him fully fit and rearing to go again and be up to, to full speed. Then we'll see whether he can carry on the talents because if Hazard leaves, it could be that Hudson Odoi is the player that, to, to come in and take his place. Uh, Jaden Sancho at uh, Borussia Dortmund is a player that can do everything really in terms of attacking quality. He can go past people uh, with speed, he can go past people with trickery, he can score goals. He's got to make sure he develops as a character and develops his understanding of the game if he wants to be a, a, come a, a world-class player. Foden likewise at Man City. He's got lots of attributes. It's all about making the right decision at the right time. That's what takes you from being a very good player to one of the great players. You've got all the attributes, you've got pace, you've got the ability to, to see a pass, you can, uh, you've got the technical ability to wriggle away from challenges. Have you got the understanding tactically and have you got the understanding to always make the right decisions? That's what makes the very, very best players. A number of those players are obviously still making their way to, to make imprints in the first team mm. and the, at the number of cl mm. clubs that they're at. A number of those clubs are obviously elite teams. Mm. Someone who's already arrived, Kylian Mbappe, hitting 30 goals this year. First player to do that in France since Jean-Pierre Papin. Yep. Uh, he's a player who must now be on the radar, the likes of a Real Madrid, the likes of a Barcelona, to take him to the very top in terms of week in, week out being tested. I don't think we can even uh, sort of talk about him as being a potential player. He's a player. Right. You know, he was one of the best players at the World Cup. Uh, we know that Real Madrid wanted him uh, last season before he uh, went to PSG. So I, I think there's no question that he is going to be one of the greats. He's, he's, he's a good goal scorer, he's got lots of pace, and he has got tactical understanding. His movement off the ball is excellent for someone so young. He's got a great, bright footballing brain about how to create space for himself. Matched to blistering pace and a good finisher, that's why he's going to be a world-class player. Luka Jovic, another player who's caught mm. the eye. Many say that he's already been earmarked by Real Madrid mm. uh, to go there after stunning performances across Europe and in the Bundesliga for Eintracht Frankfurt. Are you surprised by his emergence out of Serbia? Uh, a little bit. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen as much of him as I've seen the, the other players, but when I have seen him, he's been excellent. He's been a good finisher. Again, his movement is good, whether he's holding up the play, whether he's running in behind. Uh, he's got a good understanding with the players in and around him. And he hasn't been at one of the top clubs. So to do so well for Eintracht Frankfurt, both in the Bundesliga and in the Europa League, says that he is going to be a top player as well. And out of all of those players, who would you maybe tip to join the ranks of Mbappe as a real star performer in the coming year? It has to be De Ligt. De Ligt is the player that is a leader. He's good in the air. Uh, he can come out with the ball. He's got great tenacity. And above all, he looks to be a great character. And if you combine all those things, that will make him a world-class defender. OK, well, not all of those players will be on the move this summer, but Matis De Ligt from Ajax looking certain as if he's going to leave, along with compatriot Frankie de Jong. Will it be to Barcelona always? We'll find out. Make sure for more in-depth analysis from this list of the best under-21 players around the world, make sure you check out our article, ESPNFC.com.